In this video, we are going to look at how to install PuTTY on your Windows 10 computer and use that as a serial console to connect to a Cisco switch. And I'm going to show you how to use as a terminal emulator also. So let's install PuTTY. So open up your favorite browser and type in PuTTY download and you will get the first page. First link will be the party.org. Don't go to the third party to install party because uh, www.party.org is a trusted uh, HTTPS site. And you click here, you can download party here. And then uh, you look at what version of Windows you have. For that to do cmd type system info and then go here and look at what is your windows version is it is a system type is a 64-bit based PC so you go here 64-bit uh, and I would uh, select this is something different uh, ARM I don't know what that is so we click this is the one we know uh, it's going to it's going to be installed on our computer okay it's downloading now okay now when it get downloaded just click on that and you see welcome to party release uh, 0.76 64-bit uh, setup visa click here and um, so leave it as a default uh, add shortcut to party on the desktop I would uh, be installed on your local drive uh, I would say here so and get the desktop icon to install okay this is uh, Windows uh, default warning uh, this is uh, the he is the developer so click yes complete party release setup uh, so I'm going to uncheck this one not to review the readme file and finish and now I should have party on my desktop here okay and um, If you see here SSH serial and other uh, other comes you know this uh, um, telnet and all other things uh, file transfer come under other category and I would say serial and uh, you need to put the serial uh, port number here so for to do that I would type uh, device device manager and then go here and then find out what is my communication port number because you have to define the communication port number here so I would say COM4 and this is the default speed and uh, save you can save the session every uh, time when you do a new one say serial connection so you know this one and uh, I will save here default setting uh, I don't know what that is uh, but I will uh, leave it here serial connection and then I'm going to say yes okay so this is I already have connected uh, my switch 
into this uh, com port so now i am able to connect to my switch enable com t com t so i am in my configuration mode so let me exit and I should not have type end because it's searching that entry in the domain server and then I would type exit so I'm out of this one and then I will close this one yes so I'm I already saved the session so next time when you go here you have that saved session you click open you can connect to the the switch now so I have another switch I can use the same uh, uh, serial connection to connect to uh, different different switches. So I would say I'm going to connect to the other switch. So I connected to the next next switch, and it is asking me the password because that switch has a password and uh, so let me exit here control yeah, control C uh, you can break the session okay and uh, let me close this one let me open and say I want SSH into a computer uh, say if you have a Linux computer or something what you can do is you just type the name here say 10 1 5 1 2 55 and uh, you can connect to that one if you own the computer so I don't have the, any remote computer to connect but uh, that's a way you connect to a remote system. Uh, hope uh, this video is uh, helpful for you. Please uh, do subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Uh, thanks so much. Bye.